Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got a quick news update from Nintendo in regards to the 3DS online services that will be coming to an end in early 2024. Off the back of an update this morning from Nintendo, we have had the news that the online services for the 3DS will be coming to an end in April 2024, which is very sad, but an inevitable thing I think that was going to come around at some point. Uh, so I'll be doing an update from Nintendo earlier on. Nintendo 3DS online services, including gameplay, will end in early April 2024. Pokemon Bank will still be available. So this is a key thing to be used after this for the foreseeable future. And then we've got further details. So this is the notice of termination from Nintendo. This is the Japanese site here, giving all the information on the end of service for online support for the 3DS and its games. So you'll still be able to use some of the functionality, but things like the GTS, things like Wonder Trading and all those 3DS titles will be coming to an end in April 2024. I'll link this specific article down below. So if you want to take a look at all of the details from this that we've been posted from Nintendo, you can have a look through it yourselves. Uh, but Cerebi goes on to say Nintendo has announced that in early 2024, all the Nintendo 3DS online services will go offline. This means that online play for Pokemon X and Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Moon will cease to be operational. However, it has been confirmed that Pokemon Bank will continue to run after this time, so you will still be able to use that software and transfer Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Now, the Pokemon Company state there will be a time when Bank goes offline, so recommended transferring Pokemon to Home sooner rather than later. And I think that's the biggest caveat here for this. This is a post from the Japanese Pokemon account uh, that goes into detail about this update. It was announced on the official Nintendo website that the online play for service for Nintendo 3DS software will end in early April 2024. As mentioned above, Pokemon Bank will continue to be available after April 2024. Although the service termination date has not been determined, there is a possibility that this service will be terminated in future. So please transfer Pokemon to Pokemon Home as soon as possible. Now, the big caveat with this is, of course, if you don't already have Pokemon Bank or Pokemon Transfer on your 3DS already, then there's no way to get those because that service was terminated this March uh, earlier this year. But if you've got access to Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Transfer on your 3DS, you're still going to be able to use these after that date in April 2024 to transfer your Pokemon to home from these games. And that includes the virtual console games as well, Red, Blue and Yellow and Gold, Silver and Crystal you can get on the 3DS. But it does look like there will come a point where they will even terminate the services of Pokemon Bank so you're no longer able to trade anything up from the 3DS into Pokemon Home to get them in the newer games on the Switch which is very sad for a lot of us that have access to these games. Pokemon then follow this up with a tweet just referring to the termination date page to take you to that one as well and also referring to Pokemon Bank and how that actually works but um, that service as I say is going to be still operational from after April which is the big thing so you've still got time from now until after April whenever they do announce the date of the termination of Pokemon Bank once that happens it really locks out all of the games previous that we've had on the 3DS and being able to transfer Pokemon up to Pokemon Home to get them like I say into your collection so you can keep them in the most relevant newest games that are being pumped out by the Pokemon company so that is something to keep in mind and maybe start planning for now so you don't lose those Pokemon that you've got and all of those old titles uh, so you can get them and keep them in your collection going forward. But as I say, Pokemon Bank will still be active. That's the main thing for now. But all of the online services for the 3DS games will be ceasing on April 2024 or sometime in April 2024. So a big move and it does kind of indicate to me at least that they are probably going to look at ways for getting the classic collection i guess onto the switch or the switch online service or the switch successes online service so we've got those old classic games and access to these old games in some fashion at least when this service does come to an end and i think as a fan base we all would love to see the online services provide red blue and yellow gold silver crystal and even ruby sapphire and emerald on those virtual consoles that are online on the switch but are yet to be accessible or even talked about by the Pokemon company but maybe this is the first step in them being able to do that and whether or not it'll be on the Switch or the successor console to the Switch we'll yet to wait and see but I think as soon as that bank service does have a termination date 
we'll probably get some movement around these other aspects of the franchise. So hopefully that indicates some good news. Although it is very sad that the online services will be coming to an end. So this was just a quick video today to make you aware if you weren't already about these changes that will be coming next year. Um, and just to plan ahead really because the inevitable date will come when Pokemon are tweeting about the closure of Pokemon Bank and alongside that will be Pokemon Transfer and the inevitable stopping of that transfer to Pokemon Home. It's a good time now just to get yourself in a position where you can transfer all of those old Pokemon up to Pokemon Home so you don't lose out when that date does come around. Of course, when it does, when there is any announcements in regards to that, we'll update you here on the channel. So if you want to stay up to date with these sort of news updates, Make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you get all of the notifications as and when that news does drop. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm really interested to know how you feel about this update. Do you still use the GTS Wonder Trading? I know it's still a big thing within the community. So how do you feel about these services getting shut down? Will you miss them? What do you think will be planned for the future to kind of put in place when these services go away? If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.